Welcome. This video will walk through running the Streamline AutoML tool using a command line interface, both locally and with HPC parallelization. These run modes are best for those interested in running Streamline more efficiently using either local CPU parallelization when the analysis task is small enough for the user's personal computer to handle, as well as using HPC parallelization when an HPC is available to the user. It's also best for users that are comfortable with command lines and for users running moderate to larger size datasets and or more exhaustive run parameter configurations. Regarding advantages and disadvantages, running from the command line typically runs faster than using a Jupyter Notebook. It's also generally considered a more versatile option for those with command line experience. And you can still run the entire Streamline pipeline with a single command using a configuration file to assign run parameters. And you also have the option to easily run the pipeline one phase at a time, as well as the ability to run Streamline on at least seven types of Dask compatible HPCs using Dask job queue, including LSF, Slurm, PBS, OR, Moab, SGE, and HT Condor. The primary disadvantage is that for beginners, this run mode can be a little more challenging since command line experience and or Dask compatible HPC experience is recommended. Now let's cover Streamline installation, which is the same here as it was for the Jupyter Notebook run mode. As prerequisites, you'll need to be able to find your computer's command prompt. On Windows, you can open the Windows command prompt or use git bash. And on a Mac, you can use the command prompt application called Terminal. You'll also need to install git, and you can find the installation instructions at this link, as well as Anaconda, where you can find the installation instructions for that at this second link. For using Streamline, we recommend installing or updating to the most recent stable version of Anaconda 3, appropriate for your operating system. Anaconda includes Python 3 and a number of other common packages used by Streamline, such as Pandas and Scikit-learn. Moving on to the installation of Streamline itself, after confirming you have the prerequisites of Git and Anaconda 3, navigate to the directory where you want to save Streamline and use the following commands in the terminal one at a time. These three commands will do the following. Download the most recent release of Streamline from the GitHub repository, navigate to the Streamline directory from where the package can be run, and install all other packages required by Streamline on your local system. To see a full listing of these installed packages, check out the file requirements.txt in the Streamline repository on GitHub. Now, Streamline can be run from inside this saved Streamline root directory. If you plan on using Streamline using an HPC, there's some additional tools we recommend having that can help facilitate running Streamline. First, we have terminal emulators, such as Tmux and Screen. Having one of these is important when you want to run all phases of Streamline automatically from a single command. This is because Streamline runs a script on the head node, otherwise known as the job submission node, that monitors phase completion and submits new jobs in going from phase to phase. Typically, if you were to close your terminal in the middle of a run, this would interrupt the streamline analysis. Terminal emulators decouple your programs from the main terminal, protecting them from accidentally disconnecting. Beyond a terminal emulator, we also recommend having terminal text editors, such as Nano or Vim, for convenience in editing run parameters. Of note, in most cases, all of these would already be installed on your cluster, or available as modules in your cluster that can be loaded as needed. Check with your cluster administrator to learn whether these are already available. After installing Streamline, you can start by running a simple pre-configured demonstration on some small included datasets. All command line interface run mode examples in Streamline are set up by default to run a limited demonstration analysis, applying all nine phases of the pipeline. Specifically, it's set up to apply threefold cross-validation, use only three of the faster machine learning algorithms, and is applied to the two demonstration datasets, as well as a replication dataset, which pairs with the custom HCC target dataset. This command line demo should take about two to five minutes to run, depending on your computer's hardware. Next, let's talk about running Streamline locally from the command line using a configuration file to specify run parameters. All phases of Streamline can be run in sequence using a single simple command where run parameters are specified in an associated configuration file. An example configuration file that has been set up to run the Streamline demo locally on your computer 
can be found in the GitHub repository within the folder runconfigs. The local example configuration file is called local.cfg. Of note, the configuration file can also be used to run any subset of sequential streamline phases rather than all phases of streamline at once. For example, a user could decide to run phase one alone on some data just to look at the exploratory data analysis for summarizing and understanding their data better. Or they could run phases one through four, running everything up until modeling, using the streamline output to guide decisions as to what machine learning modeling algorithms to use in phase five. Running a subset of phases in the configuration file can be achieved by editing phases to run flags as run parameters in the configuration file. Walking through the steps to run Streamline, begin by opening your command line interface and navigating to the installed Streamline directory. If you want to run the Streamline demonstration on the included demonstration datasets, you can immediately skip to step five, since the above configuration file is set up to run this demonstration automatically. Otherwise, assuming you want to run your own datasets, further navigate into the run configs folder and open the configuration file named local.cfg using a text editor. Next, within this configuration file, update the essential and non-essential run parameters accordingly. Next, navigate back into the streamlined base directory. And lastly, run the following command within that directory. Stepping back for a moment, when editing the configuration file, there are two run parameters that are particularly important to pay attention to when running streamline locally. The first is the parameter run cluster, which should be set to false in this run mode in order to tell Streamline to run locally rather than on an HPC computing cluster. The second is the parameter run parallel, which tells Streamline whether or not to use local multi-core CPU parallelization. At this point, when the Streamline demo is run, the following will happen automatically. The entirety of Streamline will be run on the demonstration datasets, and all output files, including PDF reports, will be saved into an experiment folder named demo output within the Streamline directory. This is true whether you're running Streamline locally or on an HPC using the configuration file. Of note, users can change the name and location of this experiment folder within the configuration file, as well as, of course, change the datasets and other Streamline run parameters as desired. Moving on, we're gonna talk about running Streamline locally from the command line using command line arguments rather than a configuration file. This can be helpful if you want to run a large analysis and want to run one phase at a time to break the analysis up into smaller pieces, or to view the output of phases along the way without committing to running the whole pipeline up front. Like in other run modes, you'll want to specify arguments for all essential run parameters for a given target dataset or datasets. And of note, when specifying the command line argument parameters of FI, CF, or QF, which allows users to specify feature names to either ignore, specify as categorical, or specify as quantitative, then unlike before, where we would pass a list of feature names, you'll instead need to specify the file path to a CSV file that includes the list of feature names that need to be specified for that given parameter. When running the Streamline demo, you'll find these CSV files specifying features to treat as categorical or quantitative, saved in the Streamline repository at the following path. The next few slides are gonna illustrate running Streamline one phase at a time on the demonstration datasets using the command line arguments. Of note, you can technically run all phases at once from the command line using arguments, but this approach wouldn't be recommended as it's more cumbersome than simply using the configuration file option. To run the first phase of Streamline that conducts data exploration and processing, we'll run the following example command from the streamline base directory. The do EDA flag indicates that we want to run phase one. Then we include the path to the target dataset folder and the name of the folder path where the streamline output will be saved. Then a name for this experiment, which will also be the name of the folder saved at the given output path. Then the class label, in this case, the header class. And since this dataset has an instance label, we give the name of this header instance ID. Then we include the file path to a CSV file that specifies features that should be treated as categorical, and another path to a CSV file that specifies features that should be treated as quantitative. Next, we indicate we want to use threefold cross-validation. And lastly, we indicate that run cluster is false 
meaning that we want to run Streamline locally. And in this example, I'm going to run Streamline with local CPU parallelization by setting run parallel to true. Running this command will complete phase one of Streamline and save relevant output files within the designated experiment folder. Any run parameters available in Streamline that are not specified here will be left to their internal default values. This is true for all of the example commands on the next few slides. To run the second phase of Streamline that conducts imputation and scaling, we'll run this example command. Do data prep is a flag that indicates that we want to run phase two. Again, we need to specify the output path and experiment name so that Streamline can build off the previously saved outputs and run parameter settings that have already been specified. And again, we set run cluster and run parallel. To run the third phase of Streamline that conducts feature importance estimation, we have the following example command. Do feet imp is a flag that indicates that we want to run phase three. And again, we specify the other four key parameters, output path, experiment name, run cluster, and run parallel. To run the fourth phase of Streamline that conducts feature selection, we have the following command, where do feed cell is the flag to run phase four. And again, we specify the other four key parameters. To run the fifth phase of Streamline that conducts machine learning modeling, we have the following example command, where do model is the flag to run phase five. Again, we specify the same four other key parameters, output path, experiment name, run cluster, and run parallel. And here, we're gonna specify a subset of the algorithms we want to run. In this case, naive Bayes, logistic regression, and decision tree. If the algorithms parameter wasn't specified here, Streamline would automatically run 14 out of the 16 available machine learning algorithms by default, excluding ELCS and XCS. To run the sixth phase of Streamline that conducts post-analysis, we have the following example command, where do stats is the flag to run phase six. And again, we specify the four other key run parameters. To run the seventh phase of Streamline that conducts dataset comparisons, we have the following example command. Of note, this phase should only be run if there is more than one target dataset in the data path folder given when running phase one. Here, do compare dataset is the flag to run phase seven. And again, we specify the other four key parameters. To run the eighth phase of Streamline that conducts replication evaluation, we have the following example command. This phase should only be run if you have one or more replication datasets set aside to further evaluate the models trained on one of your target datasets. Here, do replicate is the flag to run phase eight. Again, we specify the four other key parameters as before, but we also specify the path to the folder containing one or more replication datasets, as well as the file path to the target dataset whose trained models we're going to be re-evaluating with replication data. Importantly, if you have multiple target datasets, each with one or more associated replication datasets, you'll need to run this command once for each of the target datasets that you want to evaluate with replication data. And for each, you'll want to make sure to update both the rep path and dataset parameters accordingly. And lastly, to run the ninth phase of Streamline, which generates PDF summary reports, you'll run the following command to generate the main PDF report that summarizes the testing data evaluation of modeling during Streamline phases one through seven. Here, the do report flag indicates that we want to generate a testing data evaluation report. And as before, we specify the other four key parameters as well. And furthermore, if phase eight replication was applied, you can also generate a report for the replication of a single target data set using this secondary command, where do rep report is the flag indicating that we want to generate a replication PDF report. As before, we also specify the other four key parameters, but we also need to specify rep path and data set pointing Streamline to the respective replication analysis and target data set with which to build this summary report. And again, if you have multiple target data sets, each with one or more associated replication data sets, you'll need to run this command once for each of the original target data sets, updating rep path and data set for each. Optionally, you can also run the cleanup command with the flag do cleanup. In this example, We've also included the flags del time and del old CVs, which tells the cleanup phase to delete individual runtime files 
as well as any intermediary cross-validation datasets that may have been saved during phases one through four. Now let's switch gears and talk about running Streamline from the command line on an HPC computing cluster using both a configuration file or command line arguments. So let's start with a configuration file. This is very similar to running locally, where all phases of Streamline can be run in sequence using a single simple command by editing and calling an associated configuration file. An example configuration file has already been set up to run the Streamline demo on an HPC that our lab has access to. This can be found in the GitHub repository within the folder run configs. This example configuration file is called upen.cfg. As before, the configuration file can also be used to run any subset of sequential streamline phases rather than all phases of streamline at once. Walking through these steps to run streamline, begin by logging into your respective HPC and opening your command line interface. Then navigate to the installed streamline directory. Assuming you want to run your own datasets, further navigate into the run configs folder and open an appropriate example configuration file. For example, here we're using upen.cfg. In this file, you're going to update any essential and non-essential run parameters accordingly. Additionally, you're going to want to make sure to adjust any cluster-specific run parameters, including run cluster, queue, and reserved memory, as needed. Next, navigate back into the Streamline base directory and run the following command within that directory. Now let's talk about some essential run parameters to pay attention to when running Streamline on an HPC. The first is run cluster which specifies the cluster type, or is left to false, if Streamline is not being run on an HPC. Here we have nine DAS-compatible cluster options currently available, with the command line argument values given in blue. Streamline also supports a legacy manual job submission for Slurm and LSF clusters that will generate and submit jobs using shell files to ensure that minimal memory or computation is used on the head node. These can be specified with slurm old and lsf old. Moving on to queue and memory parameters, you'll need to check with your cluster administrator on how to best set these cluster specific parameters. We've set default values for these parameters intended for use on our own institution's HPC. In this case, queue is the name of our research queue called I2C2 normal, and we've allotted four gigabytes in reserved memory for a given job. Of note, when running Streamline on the HPC, you can leave the parameter run parallel to default, since it has no impact when the run cluster parameter is set to anything other than false. Lastly, we're going to take a quick look at running Streamline on an HPC one phase at a time using command line arguments. Again, we'll start by running phase one alone, which is the same command we saw before, except now we don't specify the run parallel argument run cluster is now lsf rather than false since we're running it on an lsf cluster and we also specify reserved memory of four gigabytes and the queue that we have access to in this example is called i2c2 normal for all other phases the commands are again going to be the same except for these four differences we just described here's phase two phase three phases four five and six seven and eight and generating the two types of reports in phase nine. And lastly, the optional cleanup phase. One last helpful functionality that's included in Streamline when running on an HPC is the ability to check on job completion when running Streamline one phase at a time. This is to help users ensure that all jobs of the current phase have completed before initiating the next. And if the modeling phase is taking a long time to complete, you can find out which algorithms are still in the process of training. This can be accomplished with the included script called checker.py. To use it, first make sure that you're in the installed Streamline base directory. Next, you can examine checker.py's parameter options with the following command. So as an example, let's say a user wants to check the status of modeling jobs on their cluster during phase five. The command below would return the number of streamlined jobs that have not yet completed or that have failed to run within phase five. Alternatively, the command below would output the names of the jobs that have not completed, which in the case of phase five would inform the user which algorithms were still running. Thanks for following along in this walkthrough of running Streamline AutoML using a command line interface. 
please feel free to reach out if you're interested in collaborating or if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.